Our next speaker is a writer, as well as a former professional cook and Criterion Collection producer. Please welcome Nan Bauer. Hello, Ann Arbor. Can you hear me? Is this on? Yeah. Yay! Okay, dating. I'm going to talk about dating. Years ago, dating was a thing you did before you got married in order to get married. She's going to go home, write her first name and his last name in cursive with Mrs. in front of it. He's going to go home and think four milkshakes to second base. But now we know that dating is something we have to do in long-term relationships. In Norway, just a year ago, with a divorce rate of 40%, politicians told couples get out once a week. But here in America, we're beating them, we're at 50%, and we have all sorts of reasons we don't need to go out. We say we have a companionable silence. We can talk or not talk for hours on end. Well, if you're on the not talk end of the spectrum, and the other person is on the talk end, is somebody else on the other end of the phone, you can see why we really don't want to go out. All that, and you got a tip, too. So, we do the let's not and say we did date. <laughs> Where we go to Ikea, conducive to a great bargain, but not a sexy time. Reinforcing everything you don't like about your partner. And year after year, you sit on the couch, wondering what happened to that wonderful, sexy, irresistible person you wanted to spend the rest of your life with. You're too tired to get off the couch and find out. It doesn't have to be like this, folks. Dating can be really fun, but it's really important. Recent studies have shown something as simple as watching a movie with your date and talking about it afterward is as good as a couple therapy session. Because let's think about what's a date? <laughs> it's a chance to focus your full rapt attention on another person and wonder how can they surprise you, but not in a stalkery way, in a fun way. And if you think of your relationship as an entity, it needs food, body, mind, soul. Now let's talk first about food for the body. Someone as important as Mark Bittman just told us from the cover of Time magazine we need to get back in the kitchen. The problem is we have a paradigm where it's like, honey, I'll go in the kitchen alone and cook, and then after we eat, you go in the kitchen alone and do the dishes. I think this has to change. I want people to get in the kitchen together. <laughs> You will be amazed, even if you can't boil water, what you can contribute. You can peel a potato. You can give a neck rub. You can put on some music and do a sexy dance. That's the food for the body, but we need the food for the mind. The conversations about big ideas, not gossip, but stuff like, if you're ever stranded in the middle of a frozen ocean and there's only one door, which one of you gets it? <laughs> The way you can get to this is by watching other art forms. However, I love TV, I love Uzo, but there are so many characters in TV shows that I feel like I'm gossiping when I talk about them. Movies, on the other hand, tend to focus on a single relationship, a single idea, and if you don't want to pay for Netflix, we got the greatest library in the world that has more movies than you could watch in an entire lifetime. Now. Commit to this dinner and a movie once a week at home thing, and what do you eat? Don't worry too much because the rating system works fantastic for food. G-rated food is comfort food, meatloaf or mac and cheese. By the time you get to PG-13, feeling adolescent, tater tots. And junk food you can make at home. Make tacos, make a tasty burger and a tasty beverage, and it will not only be tasty, it will be healthy. When you get to the R-rated, sophisticated conversations, like, honey, would you ever be induced to pimp me out to the devil? Have sophisticated food to go with it. Go to Epicurious. Teach yourself to make a paella. And then we come to X. X-rated food couldn't be anything. Fresh, raw oysters, but maybe a pastrami sandwich. The thing is, if you do the X-rated dinner and a movie at home right, you don't need a movie. <laughs> 
All of this is to get you back because remember that sexy, beautiful, wonderful, irresistible person you want to spend the rest of your life with? She or he is still there and so are you. Date your partner, love your partner, love yourself, love the world and be shameless about it. Thank you. Thank you, Nan.